This is exactly for you guys, Seth and Cassidy. Hmm, I'm debating YouTube, but I got, um, I found, my brother found a salamander, and it's a female. Did she just stick her tongue out? I don't know. But anyway, she was moving. I think she's tired now, now that we just found my phone, of course. But she's cool, and I gotta have gloves, and they have to be wet, and there's a lot of work to go into a salamander. And what part of the family is it? Um, I'm not sure. Mole salamander? <gasps> oh, yes, on the mole side of the family. It's a marbled mole. Um, salamander? Yeah. Salamander. And best part? Heaven, stay still. Sorry. Raise her up. There you go. Best part? She excretes, po excretes poison from her tail. Which, if you ask me, has turned paler, so I think she's already put poison on my hands now. Mm. And look at that line. That's probably all the poison. Are you waiting for the next um, bridge? We don't know that yet, though. We just found her yesterday. Yeah. And so we're going to go shopping in a minute to go get pet soil for her, or the coconut oil. Coconut fiber. Coconut fiber. Stuff. Substrate. Substrate. See, I was under the impression it was an oil. <laughs> Granted, coconut oil is good for our skin and our hair, so why would it be a dirt loosener? <laughs> but whatever, you know. It's all cold, though. Look at that belly. Isn't she pretty? Is she not pretty? <laughs> She's okay. I'm not happy with that. There you go, little one. Oh, and I found out why Grandma fears them. Why? Because she says they look a lot like snakes and she's terrified of snakes. Yeah. Yeah. But that's okay. She does not like the thought of something wrapping around her and squeezing her. And they are in the reptile family. She's got claws. Does she? Yes, she does. Well, probably because she's got to dig, because they like to tunnel. Yeah. So I found out she's going to put her um, eggs in a hole that is wet, so we're going to rig up something to make a little puddle in there or something like that, so that when she has her babies, I can keep them happy, and I'm going to keep a few of them. And then I think I'm going to sell the rest. Because I can't take care of a hundred of well, these. she's getting active now, isn't she? Yeah. Well, I'm irritating her, so. Mm -hmm. But I couldn't take care of a hundred of these, could I, Mom? Yeah, that'd probably be hard. And I'll find out their mating season, and I'll mate her whenever I can, because I could probably make a good amount of money from all the reptile lovers, am I right? I don't know. Maybe somebody will respond back and tell you if they're interested. Yeah, so I will be putting this on YouTube, but hi Cassidy, hi Seth, hi River, hi Shiny, or Little T. <laughs> so yeah, he's a pretty cool bud. I like her. She's awesome, and she's moving now. Yeah, she's cruising now. Mm-hmm. Getting her exercise in. Yeah, because, you know, she was in the world, and now she's not. And she's just me or she less swollen today. Yeah, I noticed that too. Did she have her eggs already? I doubt it. Oh. So why is she less swollen? I don't know. Maybe because she's still stressed out from being captured and hasn't eaten yet. Oh. Which I think the worms died, so she may not like worms. We may have to buy larvae. Okay. I'll have to go look through the paper towels. She said, Phew. I don't know if I want to do that jump. That's a long way down. <laughs> Wait, God. As you can see, she's a pretty cool little specimen, if you ask me. She was crawling up my arm, which is when we decided this would be the better option. And how do we know she's a girl? Oh, uh, I forgot. Because she was gray, and... And stripe it instead of um, solid black. No, because they're all banded. That's why she's called a banded salamander. But yeah. gray stripes is female, and white stripes would be a male. Oh. And what's up with her tail? I don't know. I was looking at that. Maybe she's decided to change her mind. 
she cannot change to a male. It's not okay because I want her to have babies. And if I pick a name, she has to stay to a male. I mean a female. No male. No, we're not transgendering a salamander. Some things do that in the wild. I know. I remember there was this piranha fish mm -hmm. that scientifically they were able to cut it open and check it out. It used to be a female. It moved to a male because they couldn't find, they didn't have enough males at the time. It was a species that was becoming rare, but thanks to everybody pitching in and breeding them as much as possible and releasing them back into the wild, well, now they're overpopulated and everybody's killing them. Hmm. What was it? It was a piranha. Mm. And you don't remember the species, but it was green, and they got to be about five um, feet long. Mm -hmm. And it was like, why can't we just let the species die? I'd rather not die by this. A five foot long piranha? Yeah. How the heck do you have that big of a piranha? I don't even remember where it came from now. Oh, I'm sorry, I had your leg pinned. I feel bad. <laughs> well, she is just cruising. My arms are tired. <laughs> I was thinking it's going to be good exercise for you, too, by the time it's over. <laughs> I'm going to be doing this probably multiple times a day. But I'm totally going to get her a bigger tank. I'm going to get her, like, little fake trees and grass and... Oh, sorry, there was your claw again. All the good stuff. It'll be easy on the poor girl. Can you make that jump? Oh, I think I saw her stick her tongue out. See? It's for like a flash, though. And I don't have a slow recording camera. Think I should spritz her yet? Because my gloves are dry. Yeah, you might need to. Hang on, honey. Hang